Michael Masters, Staff Sergeant, United States Army, serial number. You don't eight. have to give me that information again, Sergeant. I already know your name and your rank. Your serial number, 879-3450. Blood type O, I can read, you see. I can also write. I can write an order that will put you into a prisoner of war camp for incorrigibles. Or, if I get the slight cooperation I ask, a less grim place of internment. Well, Sergeant? Sergeant Saunders, 227. That's enough. I meant every word I said. He can't tell you anything, Captain. None of us can. You wouldn't know that. He doesn't know anything. He thinks the Germans are still winning the war. For the minor details I ask. When your regiment was withdrawing on the Chalon Moselle Road, did you or did you not come across a German field hospital unit? A unit of wounded men who are missing for a week. Is that all you want to know? That's too much. And it's too tricky. There's no missing German field hospital unit, and you know it. You're just trying to find out if my office. That's enough! Well, Captain. Be I quiet! A truck will come along, which will take you to the rear, where you will remain for a long time. It might be more pleasant for you there, the choice of accommodations, I mean, if you show some willingness to cooperate here. Now. Very well, we shall see. In the Ruben's house. Come. Come. I am not finished with you, Sergeant. Fart! Fart! Sarge. I'm Beecher. Hi, Beecher. What do you say, Saunders? Hey, Coco, how are you? You know each other. Yeah, we used to be in the same outfit. Oh, this is James. Hi. Hi. Howdy. When did he pick you up, Sarge? Oh, about an hour ago. How long have you been here? Since this morning. What kind of a setup is this? I figure it's preliminary interrogation. They'll keep us here a couple hours, pick our brains, then send us back to the rear. Some luck. First day of combat, and I get myself captured. Hey, that other sergeant, is he still in there? They're leaning on him. Yeah, they were when we got here. He's got more stripes than the rest of us. That crowd captain probably figures he knows more than the rest of us. But if you ask me, they're wasting their time. That Sergeant Maston is a pretty tough-looking bird. I don't figure he's the kind of a guy that'll crack. <laughs> English, please, Lieutenant. You don't want to slip later. A very convincing performance. Yeah, yours was a very convincing performance, too. <laughs> Pause it. Arms up.
Now there are three places where the Americans can mount their attack. The village, the river, and the woods. Now if we can determine where they are presently concentrating their strength, we will know where to attack first and catch their units before they are ready. Okay, I better shake a leg. <laughs> you amaze me, Lieutenant. Sometimes you sound more American than they do. Why shouldn't I? For 14 hours a day, seven days a week for a year, I watched and listened to American prisoners. I read, spoke, and thought in English, American English. And there was research. Captain, who is the 21st president of the United States? What's capital of South Dakota? Who led the American League last year and runs batted in? Baseball. Hallo, Hauptmann Haus hier. Jawohl, Oberst. Zu Befehl. Wir sind gerade dabei, Herr Oberst. Jawohl, Oberst, zu Befehl. The Colonel. Time is of utmost importance. Zum Haus. By the way, Captain, the 21st president was Chester A. Arthur. Take more than a backhand in the mouth to make me tell that baboon anything. Look, I'm telling you, clowns, if we're gonna bust out of here, we gotta make a move soon. They're not gonna keep us in this spot forever. I'm with you, pal. That crap captain says they're sending a truck to take us to the rear. Hey, Sarge, what happened in there? Well, it's nothing I won't live through. Hey, Sarge, what do you think is the best way to bust out of here? Well, that depends. Now, that captain knows that we'll be mounting an attack soon. He doesn't know just when, but he figures it's gonna come from one of three places. The woods, the river, or the village. You know, he spent the last half hour trying to get me to tell him which, as if I'd know. What's that got to do with us getting out of here? Well, when and if we can make a break, we better know which way to head. We got a better chance of living through this if we know where our guys are. That makes sense. Which outfit are you from, Sarge? B Company, 156th. Where'd they pick you up, Sergeant? I was in a recon patrol. We were looking over the village. I'm from Charlie Company, 155th. My squad was heading toward the village, too. When Messerschmitt started strafing us, I got separated in the crowd patrol grabbing. Sure, there's a lot of activity around that village. Why, well, is your outfit there too? No, no, we were in the woods. But we were on standby to move out. To the village? I don't know, I'm not sure. I think so, though. Peter and I were heading in from a recon patrol when they grabbed us. They saw us. Your outfit was in the village. How'd they grab you? I was with a major in a jeep. Crop patrol hit us. The major and the driver were killed. Well, it sounds like the village to me, right? That's where I'd go. Me too. That's the way we go. If we get out of here. Yeah, if. Anybody got any ideas on that? What do you think, Saunders? Well, a barbed wire around here, that's what I think. Well, it looks like it's chop time. Here. Stay off, nimm das.
Listen, you tell your captain that I am getting very tired of his lousy stew. Ich sollte dir den Kopf einschlagen. Amerikaner. What are you looking for? Another working over? Who cares? You better read something, Marston. If we do bust out of this joint, this will be a long time between meals. Meals? That slop. There's no meals. No wonder the crowds are losing. Losing? We ain't exactly bad a thousand ourselves. <laughs> We're doing all right. Hey. Uh, what do you suppose that stuff is, kid? Horse meat? <laughs> <laughs> Essen genommen oder verweigert? Er hat es verweigert, Herr Hauptmann. Und in den Topf geworfen. Gut, bring ihn rein. Jawohl, Herr Hauptmann. Wir gehen ihn jetzt holen. Machen Sie auf. Stay off! Get the thing out of my ribs or I'll shove it down your throat. Stay off! Mitkom! Los! Relax. That baboon didn't get to me before and he won't now. Barbats! You're right, Sanders. You should have eaten his stew. Excuse me, what did you learn? The American build up is at the village. Good. Ha! Americanos and cigarette. Do you still need those prisoners? No, sir, they don't know anything else. Good, then we will send them back to camp and then I will call in the information that you have provided. Lastwagen vorbringen. Wir nehmen die Gruppe ins Hauptlager zurück. Zum Fehl, Herr Hauptmann. Sofort, Herr Oberst, bitte. Herr Oberst, ich habe eine wichtige Information für Sie. Komm, folge mir, schnell! Here. It looks like her Capitan still isn't through with Maston. He's talking about Sergeant Maston, Baker Company 156. Yeah, you know him? <laughs> sure, he's my platoon sergeant. Been reported missing for three days. He here? That's him right over there. Where? He's right over there. Not Maston. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. <sighs> We've been had. We've been feeding that guy information for the last two hours. I don't get it. Maston's a crowd. I
right look. We got taken, so we didn't know. Now let's forget it. It's spilled milk. Then we got to start thinking about now is getting away, get ourselves headed in the other direction toward our line. How do we get off this truck? How do we get past those two? If we could get back to our line soon enough, we could tell them what happened. Gotta get off this truck. They'll be on the radio alert the whole area. So let's keep running. Where? When that German captain finds out we've escaped, he knows we'll make for the village. Don't head straight for the village. Go by the river. Well, go on, move out. Poker. Take these. Hey, what is this? Where are you going? I'm going back. Back where? I'm going to get myself recaptured. What are you off your rocker? Now listen to me, Coker. There's going to be a full regiment in that village tomorrow morning. How do you know that? That major that was killed when I was picked up was operations officer. I'm talking about 3,000 men that might get it. They'll be sitting ducks. We've got to stop those crowds from hitting a village. Yeah, that's just great. Would you mind telling me how you're going to swing that? Get back and tell Maston who ran into one of our patrols while we're headed toward the village. There's a change in plan. The big push is going to be coming along the river instead of through the village. That's crazy. What makes you think he's going to buy that? And even if you do pull it off, son, is you liable to spend the rest of the war behind German barbed wire? That's right, but we don't have a choice. If you go ahead and I go back, one of us might make it in time. Stop worrying. When you get back, tell the artillery location of the compound. See if they can lay in a barrage tonight. I might be able to get away in the confusion. You might get yourself blown up, too. 
Maybe not if I know what time the artillery's coming in. All right. Say 2 a.m. Oh, 0200. Oh, 0200. I want you going. Hey, son. Good luck. Yeah. Einheit. Uh, no Deutsch. Uh, wie kommst du hierher? A prisoner, prisoner war camp. Uh, uh, a Stalag, Stalag 9, Captain, Captain House. Stalag 9? Ja, yeah, Captain House. Er ist ein entkommener Kriegsgefangener. Sieht so aus. Sind da mehr? Ich denke keiner. Los. Stein ein. Los, los. Michael Maston, Staff Sergeant, United States Army, serial number 879... You don't have to tell me all that information again, Sergeant. I know your name and your rank. And your serial number 879-3450, blood type O. I can read, you see. I can also write... I can write an order which will put you men into a prison of war camp for incorrigibles. Or, if I get the slight amount of cooperation I ask, a less grim place of internment. Well, Corporal? Corporal Giles, sir, number 395. That's enough! I don't seem to be able to make you men understand. They understand, all right. You don't. He still thinks the Germans are winning the war. Once more, the minor details I ask. When your regiment was withdrawing along the Chalon Moselle Road, did you or did you not come across a German field hospital unit? A unit of wounded men which has been missing for a week. You mean that's all you want to know? Well, it's too much and it's too tricky. There's no German field hospital unit, and you know it. You're just trying to find out if my... That's enough! But, Captain, I... Keep quiet! A 
The truck will come along soon, which will take you to the rear, where you will remain for a long time. Now, it may be more pleasant for you there, the choice of accommodations, I mean, if you show some willingness to cooperate here, now. Very well, we shall see. In the woman's house. Oh, amen. Come. Ruth. I am not finished with you, Sergeant. Fart! <laughs> Lieutenant, another convincing performance. Captain, if your performance gets any more convincing, you just may have to get yourself another boy. <laughs> well, what are we after this time? Nothing specific, Lieutenant. Anything you can learn. Things are going well now, thanks to you. Well, I'll give it the old college try. As the Americans say, you never can tell when old man opportunity is going to knock at your door. to bump into him after this war is over. Yeah, well, if you do, buddy, you just make sure I'm there with you. Hey, that sergeant there, what's his name? Um, Maston. Boy, he's got guts. Oh, yeah, he's got guts, all right. But he ought to remember what they taught him in basic training. Keep your mouth shut. Don't pay to have a flip lip when you're a POW. Might blurt out something they want to know. Hey, what are you trying to do, Sarge? Start our own war as a POW? <laughs> lousy crowds. They think all they got to do is lean on a guy a little bit and he's going to crack wide open. How's it feel? I've had worse, but I've also had a better medic. Yeah? All right, well, you just, you just keep right on. And you're going to find out how it feels to really get hurt. You feel better after a while. Why don't you try to get some sleep, huh? Yeah, thanks. Hey, Charles, have you ever been in Albany, New York? Uh-uh. Before I saw you there, this guy looks just like you. Works in the same plant that I do. You look enough like him to be his brother. Sergeant, do you mind knocking it off for a while? Let him try to get some sleep. It might help. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Herr Hauptmann, ein Amerikaner wieder gefunden worden. Ja, wann war das? Vor ein paar Minuten. Gut, ich komme. In den drei Kilometer von hier, Herr Hauptmann. Gehört er zu Ihrem Lager? Ja, gut. This is not your lucky day, Sergeant. I guess not. The next time I send you out of here, I will make certain that you are better guarded. Come in ins Haus. Day I got caught again. 
Again? Did you get away? Yeah, we all did. Well, that's great. When? How? The truck came to a stop there. Thanks. At a railroad crossing, we jumped the sentries and made a run for it. Where are the others? I don't know. We split up after we got to the river. No one's, huh? Yeah. How long have you guys been here? We just got here. Rogers caught a slug in his leg and we were limping back from the patrol. They grabbed us. By the way, I'm Giles. Saunders. What were you doing at the river? I thought we agreed if anybody got away, we'd try to rejoin our guys in the village. That's right. We started for the village, then we met a recon patrol. I don't know. It seems like they changed their plans. The big pushes and be coming along the river. But why? Are you sure? I don't know why. I guess the brass have their own reasons. The only thing I'm sure of is that it's going to be coming from the river. Nice to know us. I was so close. And yet so far. Yeah, it's tough. How'd you get separated from the others? When we got to the river, we figured it'd be better if we split up. Less chance of being spotted by the crowd guards. Only I got spotted. Uh, Saunders. You say you ran into one of our patrols and they told you all this about pushing out from the river? That's right. Since when does a dog face know what the brass is going to do? This patrol had its own brass. It was a captain. I don't know what's happened. All I know is they're moving troops as fast as they can along the river. Well, like you said, you never can tell what the brass is thinking. That's right. Never can tell. Wonder when they're gonna ship me out of this hole. Give me a chance to jump off a truck, too. Attack is coming from the river, not the village. The river? How do you know this? The sergeant they recaptured. The captain told him. The Oberst of Fort Fitter. Herr Oberst, here speaks Hauptmann Haus. Planwechsel by the Americanen. The Truppen concentrieren sich nicht im Dorf, aber am Fluss. Tell him anything, anything at all. No, it's like I told you, we got here just before you did. I'm sorry I almost blew your story. Lousy Kraut. What do we do about him? Nothing. If he thinks we're on to him, we'll ruin everything. Okay, we wait for the artillery. Hi. My name's Master. Murray. Come 
Stone and Fallon. We got us another lost sheep. Murray, this is Sergeant Saunders. Rogers, Giles. All right, come on in. Pull up an easy chair. <laughs> nice little place you got here. Where'd they pick you up? Yeah, about two miles this side of the river. Me and a, a couple of buddies were heading back to the village from a recon. We spotted a GI stumbling through the woods with a slug in his leg. Uh, we doubled back to give him a hand. I didn't know there were Germans following them. They finished him off. And the guys I was with. Why were you going back to the village? Why not? Our outfit's dug in there. What he's doing out there anyway? Wasn't even carrying a rifle. Beecher, Alfred L. Beecher. You say this happened just two miles this side of the river? About that. Saunders? You said you guys split up after you got to the river. Yeah, well, that's right. That must be uh, another beecher. That isn't very likely. It's not a very common name. What are you guys talking about anyway? You uh, know this beecher? Uh, no, I guess not. Like Saunders said, there could be two guys with the same name in this man's arm. Where are you going? Just outside to get a little fresh air. It's getting a little stuffy in here. I think you better stay inside. The captain is liable to lean on you if you go out there. Scare me. Hey, you guys saw what's going on here? He's a kraut. Saunders. The stampers are coming. What do we do? again. He's dead. What 
happens when the sentries come in for a bed check. Let's hope the artillery gets here first. got this guy Beecher. Maybe they got Coker too. Maybe there's not going to be any artillery. Two fifteen. Zero two one five. No artillery. Artillery starts, it's got to look as if Maston got it from the shelling. Why? Why? Because if the captain ever gets the idea that we killed Maston, he'll know we were on to him and that Saunders was feeding him a bunch of lies. Did you hear what I said, Saunders? It's a quarter after two. Nobody got through. There's not going to be any artillery. There's nothing we can do but wait. It's ten to three. Bed check. Yeah. Well, we've had it. That's about a mile ahead. Sounds like our guys are moving out. Light rifle fire. Can't be too many crowds in front of them. Uh, we suckered most of them to the river. Yeah, ain't that a shame? Yeah. Let's keep moving. I don't feel like getting captured again. <laughs> 